All right, let's bring ourselves back to drawing pad. We're going to be selecting the purple album button from the menu bar. Go grab your artwork, select open. And now let's talk about how we're going to add the dots that are going to go all around our spirit animal. We're going back to the marker tool and we're gonna actually just use our fingers for this. We don't need to use the stylus. So we're going to select some colors, some different colors. And we're also gonna be talking about how we're gonna create a variety of dot sizes and a variety of colors for those two. But look how I'm just going to go around the edge of my spirit animal. I'm basically like tracing a line, except for it's not a line. I'm doing it with dots, okay? What's really nice about doing things digitally is that if I mess up, I can hit the backspace button and that will let me correct any dots that I don't like that I did. finish my dots okay but let's talk about um how i don't want to see your dots being done because i think that's important to see that too so um remember we want to try and keep like even space throughout the dots oh gosh look how i am like not even close in a line oh my god i'm on my spirit animal i've gone all the way around look how messy that looks we want to make sure that we are doing our dots in a line that is evenly spaced and going around our spirit animal So when we create our variety of dots, um, aside from the color, we can hit that little button that has the white rec or white square with the um, gray circle. You can make your brush larger or smaller, and that's how we'll make the variety of sizes. So I had a, kind of a medium size for my original green that I did, and now I'm going to go to my next color and look how I've made it a bit larger. And again, that backspace button is great. You can see I started to do some dots. I didn't like how it was starting to space out. Ooh, gosh, and this is a really bad example. Well, let's make sure we don't do this. All right, so try to make them so that they're evenly spaced. Hit the backspace button if you mess up. You might have noticed that as I got towards the end of that blue, um, it had to go off the edge of the canvas. That is totally fine. Look how even with this pink, I'm, I have made, made them smaller too, right? Variety of dot sizes. Notice how as it's going around, okay, yeah, um, I'm probably gonna need to go off my canvas a little bit. I'm probably gonna run out of some room. Remember what I said about how we'll be going off the edge of our canvas? Here's another perfect example. I don't have a ton of room here. If I am able to get maybe half a dot, cool. If not, that's all right. Just pick back up where you have a little bit more space to keep going around. And again, like this has not changed. Look how when I'm doing these dots, I haven't just randomly created a new line that I'm tracing around, right? It's, this is still the outline of my spirit animal. My dots are still following the same direction that my other dots had been doing too. Talk about variety with our dots and our colors. So yeah, look at this too. I'm going off the edge of my canvas. That's fine, but I'm still tracing around. No random dot putting. We are going around the edge of our spirit animal. So here's gonna be a great example of how you might get to a certain point where you don't have any more room to be adding certain colors on other sides. So I only have this right edge of my canvas where I still have some room for some dots. So I'll keep going with these blue dots over here, but I'm not gonna be putting them in another spot because I don't have the room. But I do need to fill my entire canvas with these dots. So I'm going to look for any of those um, opportunities where I have the space to keep going. So uh, once that blue is done, I'm gonna switch to my last color and I'm gonna fill in some dots there. All right, once I have my dots done, I can go ahead and hit save on this. Now, I am gonna tell you, 
if you want to go an extra step, keep watching, because I'll show how you can add just a few dots inside of your actual spirit animal. All right, if you want to go the extra step, let's grab a color that is similar to the color that we used for the spirit animal, and we'll add some dots that go around the inside edge of the spirit animal. This whole time we've been going around the outside edge, but if you want, we can go around the inside edge, but let's not choose colors that are way too different from what our initial color is, just because we don't want to distract from what our actual spirit animal is. Now I did yellow for mine, so I'm gonna look at some yellows and some oranges to fill in around the inside here. Think about what yours might be and see if you want to do this part. Okie doke, if you added these dots, you're gonna go ahead, hit that save button, and we are finished. Nice job.